Annie claims that Wendy Williams' guardian attempted to block the document in order to escape criticism. According to recently released documents, Annie television networks retaliated against Wendy Williams' temporary guardian in court last month, claiming she took action to silence criticism by attempting to stop Where is Wendy Williams from broadcasting. Williams' temporary guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, sued Annie in February in New York County Supreme Court, attempting to prevent the broadcast of Lifetime's documentary Where is Wendy Williams? However, Rachel Strom, an attorney for Annie Networks, claimed in court records that were just made public and obtained by USA Today that Morrissey only attempted to halt the documentary after seeing how Williams' guardianship was portrayed in the trailer. Only after seeing the documentary's trailer and realizing her role in Ms. Life may be criticized did Ms. Morrissey enlist the courts to unconstitutionally silence that criticism, the complaint claimed. An attorney for Morrissey has been contacted by USA Today for comment. Morrissey requested a restraining order against the network in a complaint that was made public earlier this month. Morrissey said that Williams, who disclosed in February that she had been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia, was not, and is not, capable of consenting to the terms of the documentary's contract. The actress did not, and could not, approve the manner in which she was filmed and portrayed in the trailer and documentary. The complaint stated, claiming that the film exploits medical condition to portray her in a humiliating degrading manner and in a false light. The petition further noted that Morrissey was horrified by the release of the caravan and its contents, which falsely depict behavior and demeanor as being the result of intoxication rather than the result of her medical condition. According to a &E's attorney, Morrissey took no measures to prevent the documentary's release until she saw the trailer, in which she and the guardianship system appear in a negative light, where it demonstrates that her purpose in seeking this prior restraint is simply to shut down public expression that she does not like.